What is up? Welcome to Wednesday, June the 30th edition of Roughing the Kicker, an almost daily Kansas City Chiefs podcast on ArrowheadReport.com. I'm your host, Tucker Franklin, and joining me today, as he, you know, usually does, it's Jordan Foote, Mr. Reliable here for Roughing the Kicker. Jordan, how you doing? Tucker, I'm good, buddy. I'm uh, excited for this podcast. Also was dreading this podcast a little bit, yeah. but um, I'm going to I'm gonna kick it back to you and, and you can explain kind of what's going on there, bud. Yeah, so as you can tell by the title of this podcast, we do have an announcement. It could be a good news or bad news, depending on, I guess, how you, how you view the show. But I will no longer be doing Roughing the Kicker. Um, I know that's tough for me, especially because this was something that I started. Well, I didn't start it. Josh kind of gave it to me and I, and I ran with it. I think we've grown this community tenfold. The YouTube channel is almost up to a thousand subs, everything like that. It's a tough thing for me to walk away from. It really is. It feels like my child, um, which is weird because it was like Josh giving me his child. And now the person getting roughing the kicker, roughing the kicker, kicker is not going to go anywhere. Roughing the kicker is still going to stay you know, three times a week until training camp and then go daily. It's going to be with Jordan Foote instead with me. So i um, really excited for Jordan to get this opportunity to take over Roughing the Kicker, to do Roughing the Kicker, to interact with you guys. And, you know, the Discord has been awesome way to do that and, and every way to get uh, interaction with you guys. And on Twitter as well, you guys have been amazing. But, yes, starting on Friday. So on Friday's episode, I will no longer be associated with Roughing the Kicker. I will not be on Roughing the Kicker. It's been one hell of a ride. I've really enjoyed every single second of it, but I'm really excited to see what Jordan gets to do with it. Yeah, likewise, man. I'm excited to see what you do next. Um, really just, it's been a blast. I know that we yeah. we started off this podcast and um, I joined up with Arrowhead Report and I was like, eh, I don't know this Tucker guy. He, he seems cool, whatever. Then... Um, quickly became really good friends and started doing the podcast routinely, um, doing the draft stuff. I remember pitching the draft idea to you and you were like, that's insane, um, but good for content. Really just kind of game planning on a daily basis, um, communicating back and forth about what's going to happen with the podcast, kind of giving me a peek behind the curtain has been super helpful. Um, I know that I definitely feel well prepared for sure. Um Part of that goes out to Josh, but podcast-wise, a lot of that goes out to you because you've been really putting in a lot of work on RTK, um, leaving it in a, a fantastic spot, I think. I'm really excited for the future of that. Um, but more importantly, I'm excited for the future of you, and I know that um, it's it's tough to kind of leave your your baby behind um, and, and let the, the chicken or the bird hatch out of the egg or whatever. I don't know what analogy I was going for. <laughs> Um, but eventually you have to kind of just take off and, and, and do it. So um, excited for you, man, and excited for the future of RTK. It's still going to be around. It's yeah. still going to be going um, throughout the offseason. We're thinking probably still three days a week, probably that Monday, Wednesday, Friday release. Um, but more kind of coming on that, some big things planned um, in the future. But, man, thank you first and foremost for, for allowing me to come on so often. I know that um, it was – it was a chance. I didn't really do a lot of um, daily type podcasting before that, or even multiple times a week. It um, opened my eyes to how much of a grind that is, but you always yeah. made it a, a ton of fun. Well, I appreciate you coming on too, because actually when I pitched this idea, kind of a behind the curtain of how roughing the kicker, the reboot came, came to be as I pitched it to, to Josh, I said, you know, we should do a podcast with this website that we're doing airhead report. He's like, yeah, that's a really good idea. And I said, what if we did a daily podcast? There's not a ton of daily chiefs podcasts out there. I could do it. It would be a lot of work. At first, when I pitched it, it was just myself. It was just going to be me talking to my wall. And Josh was like, okay, record some demo episodes. Get back to me, send them to me. I'll, I'll give you some feedback, kind of put them in the bank. I said, perfect, cool. We'll do that. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't just talk to myself. The podcasts were terrible. The content was bad. It sounded, I didn't sound interested in it. And I just needed somebody else with me. And Jordan luckily became that other person that, that Josh was like, hey, why don't you see if Jordan wants to rotate on every now and again? What if you want to see if he wants to come on and go ask Connor, go ask Mark, go ask Sam Hayes. You know, that's why we got all these people on every day is I couldn't do it without you guys. That's really what it comes down to is, is I would be nothing. I wouldn't be where I'm going or where I'm at right now without Jordan, without Connor, without Sam, without Mark, without Josh. And I think that's that's first and foremost, I, I want to get that out there. Those guys, you specifically, Jordan, have been very 
vital in getting this podcast going and really helping me get it off the ground, helping it, it fly essentially. You know, I think when Josh gave it to me, he said, you know, you, you got to watch your, watch your kids grow up eventually. And this is kind of, I've kind of in the same boat that Josh was. I'm watching my kid grow up and, and walk and go off to college essentially is what it is, what this is. Uh, so super excited about that. I'm glad that, that we got to connect through this. And I remember the first zoom call that we had to try to do this podcast. Um, there were some technical issues. Um, we had to use the zoom audio. I think uh, we, you, we do something else. You guys don't care about how we it get was it so bad, but dude, it, it, it wasn't, it, was, it wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> I had my, my camera angle was like almost a foot lower than it is now. Like I was staring down into the camera. I didn't use my headphones, even though I had them. Um, so my microphone on my computer was oh, yeah. picking up or like there was reverb for my audio going to yours. Um, so the editing was bad. It just wasn't like we were cutting each other off. It wasn't great. And then quickly, like that was like a one-time thing. Then the second episode was better. The third episode yeah. got better. And we just had that. We hit it off um, podcast wise after that. So man, it was, it was fun. And it's been less than a year or no, has it been more than a year? It's been less, hasn't it? It's been less than a year since we started RTK. Yeah. Because the reboot That's started insane. In like a week before the season. Uh, we did yeah. doing daily, or a week or two before the season. Because it's when the Chiefs got their our first episode was when the Chiefs got their rings. And, yes. yeah, and yeah. that that was the first episode. And we talked about, I think, Patrick Mahomes getting engaged as well. Um, and now they have a child. So that's kind of, I know we haven't been a, around for very long, but. Man, it's it's been a fun ride for sure. I've enjoyed every minute of it, and I think what makes it so special is the MVLs, is the uh, the people who listen to this podcast, who tune in regularly, who tweet at us, who ask us questions for not only the mailbag but just on Twitter and on our Discord channel to get to get the interaction there to to actually talk to the people who listen to the podcast has been amazing for me, and and I think that that that's one thing I'm going to miss. I'm not going to leave the Discord or anything like that. I'm still going to be in the Discord and probably still be a menace in the discord um but just that's just how i want to be is i'm i'm not going to be a uh, host of roughly the kicker i'll just be an mvl that's what's going to happen i'm going to become an mvl so i'm super excited for that super excited to see what comes up but yeah man you mentioned it it's it's crazy how quick the chemistry uh, between us picked up i think we went like three or four months doing the podcast before we met in person. Actually, I think it was before the chief. It was after the chief season got over. We yeah. actually met in person. Yep. Um, so we went the whole season, just zoom chatting with each other, not meeting in person until I think it was like, a. a we sat outside at the KC beer hall during, while they were doing like their winter mm -hmm. thing. Um, and we got 50% off because we sat outside and it was really cold. Um, I think that's really cool what the KC beer hall does, but um, nevertheless, we built that chemistry here and maybe if Jordan will have me, I guess I'll come back on the podcast, but um, hopefully I can, I can still continue to connect with you MVLs. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. And shout out to the MVLs because I know oh, that yeah. um, some of them may be ticked off that Tucker's leaving and I'm hosting. Some of them may be super excited and be like, gosh, we're getting rid of Tucker. Finally. It's just, right. that is how this stuff goes. Some people really at the core, most of them are just going to be happy that it's still going. And they care about the podcast. They care about the people um, doing the podcast. They're going to be excited for both of us. We're excited for them. There's still going to be RTK. RTK 2.0 essentially is going to be launching. Um, I'm very excited. The MVLs are, they've been fantastic in not only listening, but also um, chatting in the Discord, chatting on Twitter, giving us questions, all that stuff. Um, so shout out to them. Very excited about that. And I'm, I'm just excited that that's really the word that I've used like for the past few weeks, like, or I guess not weeks, few days into a week, whatever, however long we've been chatting about this um, yeah. move and kind of transition. Um, it's all a blur now, but man, just really stoked for the future of RTK, the future of Tucker Franklin, the future of me, I guess, um, yeah. Josh Arrowhead report, everything else that you're going to be getting into. Um, guys, we're, we're not spoiling it. If, if you've been listening, like hoping that we're going to say something, we're not going to say anything. Um, I'm not letting the cat out of the bag, but um, just super excited, man. It's been a blast. I know that you'll definitely be coming back um, as often as I can get you to come back. So um, just super stoked, super grateful. And uh, yeah, that's about it, man. I don't really have too much else to add. I know that 
the the ball is in in Tucker's court here, and uh, he's going to share his stuff when he's ready to share his stuff. Yeah. Uh, so Jordan hit the nail on the head. Not spoiling anything here out of, you know, respect to RTK, Arrowhead Report. I will also no longer be writing at Arrowhead Report as well. Uh, it's, I'm not just quitting uh, RTK. It's also I'm not going to be with Arrowhead Report in general. So uh, that is what what we know right now, what you guys know uh, right now. I shouldn't say what we know right now. But um, don't fear. You're going to know what's next tomorrow on my birthday, July the 1st. Um, I will be announcing the next steps for me. But Listen, still listen to RTK. Jordan did a phenomenal job with it while I'm on vacation. That's what makes me so, I guess, relaxed in this transition is you know what you're doing. Uh, the MVLs know you. They're comfortable with you. You did it for a week while I was, you know, gone and you had Tyron Matthew tweeting about random stuff. You had news. You had Mike Hughes trade. You, got, you had all kinds of stuff. You know how it goes now. Um, so I, I'm at ease with this transition. Super excited for you and be able to see what's what's next and not only for for me but also for jordan as well and for just arrowhead report in general because i'm excited to see how this site grows because i don't it's still growing and it's growing every day it's growing a ton great content there as well no love all right i still have all the love in the world for you guys and, and <laughs> no love and, for you guys whatsoever <laughs> i messed up okay um no i i still love you know you and josh and, and connor mark sam Everyone at Arrowhead Report got it. Can't forget, you know, uh, Austin and Taylor who do the Always Sunny podcast. We never really did the crossover episode. We talked about doing a crossover episode. <laughs> that was before we had Zoom Plus or Zoom Premium, whatever they call it. Um, that was a big. That was a big advancement in the in the RTK podcast. Is once we got that, and we didn't have to worry about Zoom calls only lasting what is it, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and cutting us off. That was huge. Um, so. Yeah, I just am very grateful, very appreciative of, of not only everyone at Arrowhead Report, of you, Jordan, but of the MVLs. I know I've said it multiple times, but, you know, well, it's like what they say in school. If the teacher says it multiple times, it's important. And I'm saying it multiple times because you guys really do really mean a lot to me because without you guys, there would be nothing. And without you guys, I wouldn't be doing the thing I'm going to do next. So um, very excited, very grateful. Uh, make sure you go follow Jordan on Twitter now at Footnoted to stay up to date with the show. You go follow him on Twitter to stay up to date because he's going to have all the updates going on, the programming updates, everything like that. You can still follow me on Twitter if you want. I guess you could unfollow me if you want. If you don't care anymore, you said, I don't, I don't <laughs> care about this Tucker guy. You can unfollow me or follow me at Tucker D. Franklin. So, Jordan, got any final thoughts? No, man. I, uh, it's going to be hard for me to not say follow Tucker on Twitter at Tucker. Like even when you're not <laughs> on the podcast, I'm going to feel like I have to say follow Tucker on Twitter at Tucker D Franklin. Um, there, there are going to be tons of Tucker Franklin references on Arrowhead report on um, just the podcast on everything. So man, just very excited. Um, just stoked for you first and foremost. Like it's going to be an awesome move. I'm again, not going to say anything. <laughs> I wanted to say what's going on for a long time. Like I think it was Kent yeah. um, on from Arrowhead pride when he was still there that said like, it took me like every fiber of my being to not like tweet out what everything was, <laughs> what all was going on. Like, and that's been yeah. me. The staples on my mouth have been like slowly ripping away over the past, however many days. Um, but man, just super stoked for it. Um, I know that, Arrowhead Report and RTK are going to go in the right direction. I know you're going in the right direction. Um, and just keep growing, man. I, I know that we're going to try to. I know that you're going to um, and that everything is going to work out. Well, this is it for me on Roughing the Kicker. Bittersweet moment for sure. Um, this has been my final episode of Roughing the Kicker. Thank you guys for tuning in all the way to the end. I know this wasn't an episode you probably anticipated to hear today or wanted to hear today possibly but it's the episode that we all needed to hear, I guess. A part of growth is pain, and it's going to suck leaving you guys behind, but I know you guys will always be with me. So make sure to go follow Jordan on Twitter, at Footnote, and stay up to date with RTK. And on Friday, Jordan will be back with Connor Christofferson. I think you guys are doing a mailbag, right? Yeah. Um, I, just, I guess I just kind of assumed that you guys were doing a mailbag, but Jordan and Connor will be doing a mailbag. So until then, I'll talk to you guys later.